Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will study about uniform flow and non-uniform flow with the help of diagram, definition, example and equation. So let's start with the uniform flow. So here, suppose this is a straight pipe as you can see here. Okay, this is our straight pipe. Okay, and this pipe has diameter D okay diameter is same throughout the length okay suppose this is our length L okay and in this pipe fl uh, fluid is flowing as you can see here fluid is flowing from this direction to this direction this is one point this is second point okay initially the velocity at the entrance of the pipe velocity is v1 and as this is the pipe having same diameter throughout the velocity at the out outlet that is as point 2 will be also v1 okay that is here velocity at given time in this case does not change with respect to space that is displacement okay in this case that is with respect to length velocity remains same throughout the pipe this is called as uniform flow okay so here see now definition the flow in which velocity at a given time does not change with respect to space length of direction of flow is called as uniform flow as we have seen here this is a straight pipe having constant diameter and velocity is also constant throughout the length of the pipe that's why this is the uniform flow okay example see here flow through a pipe flow through a long straight pipe of uniform diameter as we have seen this is the uniform diameter and this is a straight pipe throughout the length okay so now see the equation here dou v upon dou s is equal to zero this is the equation for for uniform flow okay dou v means change in velocity and dou s is the change in displacement okay now let's see the non-uniform flow so here suppose this is a pipe this is one pipe and suppose this is another pipe we have we are taking here two examples for this so here as you can see here the diameter of this pipe is d1 here and at this point here diameter is not is changed that is re re reduced so let's give it d2 similarly here it is a d1 and here it is a d2 dimension diameter so as you, you have seen here there is a change in the diameter of the pipe along the length suppose this is the length l and here this is also the length l okay as you have seen here the cross the diameter of the pipe has changed in this case so now when the fluid is flowing in in this for in this first case this is second case when fluid is flowing from this direction to this direction there is the as this point that is at diameter d1 the velocity will be v1 and at diameter d2 velocity will be the v2 the, the here in this case velocity will change that is as you can see here this is the, the change in diameter from larger diameter to the lower diameter here d1 is greater than d2 that's why here velocity will increase along the length in this case that is in the d2 direction that is here velocity v2 is greater than v1 as this is the contraction pipe is contracting that's why the velocity will increase in the contracted direction as you can see here that is in this d2 direction the velocity will 
be higher so that's why here v2 is greater than v1 okay in this case as you can see here is this is the divergent portion that is when d1 is less d1 is less than d2 and fluid is flowing in this direction again so here also here first there will be the v1 and here second will be the v2 velocity changed in this case also and as you can see here this is the divergent portion portion part as this point so when fluid is diverges there will be the reduction of the velocity that's why in this case v1 is greater than v2 okay v1 is greater than v2 in this case as you can see here now this is the um, divergent portion that's why velocity at the inlet that is d1 is greater and velocity at the outlet that is uh, at the d2 portion velocity is reduced so that here v1 is greater than v2 now let's see the here definition the flow in which that's why as you can see here velocity has changed along the length due to the different diameters so this is the non-uniform flow okay so now see here the flow in which velocity at a given time change with respect to space length of direction of flow is called as non-uniform flow okay now example is flow through a long pipe with varying cross section as you have you can we have seen this is the varying cross section cross cross section as a, of the pipe has changed okay so now equation is dou v upon dou s is not equal to zero in non uniform flow case so here also dou v is change in velocity and dou s is change in displacement okay so students in this video we have understood about uniform flow and non uniform flow Thank you students for watching this video. Like, share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.